It has been over a year since Alpha One graced us with its magnificent presence, and we are now all just sitting here waiting for what is yet to come for the next big MMORPG. And thankfully, although it's not Alpha 2, Steven Shreef gave us a ton of new information on what is holding up the development, what challenges they are facing, what they are currently working on, and when exactly we can see the pre-alpha spot testing starting up. Starting with the spot testing, because that's the one everybody cares about, we learned in the AMA that pre-alpha spot testing will be starting in the next several months for select members of the community. What this means, well, I really have no idea, but I would like to think that it is for those whom participated in Alpha 1. Although I feel like Intrepid is going to start off with a smaller, more isolated community of testers, just with how Steven worded that explanation of the spot testing. Check it out. We will be having spot tests. Um, well, we are, technically we're already doing spot tests internally. Um, we do that uh, <clears throat> right now. Uh, but we will be including spot tests with some of uh, individuals from the community um, as part of the next several months. These spot tests, when they finally launch for whoever will take part in them, will more than likely be under NDA as the testers polish up the game before that big Alpha 2 reveal somewhere down the road. We also learned what Intrepid is doing right now for Alpha 2, the biggest thing that they have to do leading up to the launch is add content. And filling up a massive world this large is going to take a lot of work. Currently, they are working on adding things to the core mechanics of the game, such as events, naval content, professions, questing, and finishing up the combat. All of which is very important for an MMORPG to get off the ground. We have seen launches before with little content, and it is really hard for these games to recover afterwards. Not impossible, but it's definitely something that Intrepid isn't planning on shortening us on with the lead up to Alpha 2 and beyond. We also learned that the Cleric is on the list to show up to show us some updated healing in one of the upcoming live streams continuing the combat hype. Steven then goes on to talk about some of the biggest challenges leading up to Alpha 2 as well, and the biggest one being the Q&A process. Intrepid is constantly testing and reiterating on features as they go along, but giving the game a bit more polished feel with less bugs is always going to be a big challenge with limited testing. And it makes sense that this would be something that they see as a huge challenge, because as I've said before, Alpha 2 is really what's going to get people to decide if they want to jump into the world of Vera or not. Yes, it's still an alpha, but it's really going to show off the game in a way we haven't seen it done before, along with closing and inviting current content creators who have signed up for the program and getting the world of Ashes of Creation out into the public for all people to enjoy. Another one of the big challenges Steven sees is getting the player density challenges solved. Intrepid plans to have massive battles in the open world that in order for them to be enjoyable and work well are going to need to be able to operate smoothly with tons of players on the same field. They've already done great work on this, as you may have seen with Castle Sieges in Alpha 1, as they had upwards of 300 people at one time and the servers performed very well. There were a few minor issues, but overall the servers held up great for that amount of people and it wasn't too bad to play. Lastly, they found the content scope to be pretty challenging as well, which isn't surprising at all. Intrepid is constantly hiring and finding ways to speed up the process, such as the move to Unreal Engine 5 and the landform tool they created. But building a world this massive is ultimately going to take some time and not happen overnight. Intrepid has made huge progress this year, and with spot testing starting soon, this is a great sign that we are well on our way to Alpha 2 and what lies beyond that. I really enjoyed this AMA as Steven seemed to dive deeper into the development than he has done in a very long time and gave us some real answers on the progress of the game. What are your thoughts on the Alpha 2 timeline? Drop a comment down below and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, grab some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally jump into the world of Vera for yourself. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.